Hello friends, welcome to this new video in which I will introduce the supply chain analytics cheat sheet I have designed. If you are looking for inspirations or case studies to use data science and analytics to optimize logistics and supply chain operations for cost reduction or sustainability, you are in the right place. My name is Samir. I have been sharing contents online for the last four years, starting from my Medium blog, in which I share case studies and tutorials on how to use data to solve specific operational problems around supply chain and logistics. But I have also a GitHub profile in which I share some source code of specific modules or algorithms. The idea of this cheat sheet is to combine all the content in a single location with different categories so it can help you, for instance, if you are a student that wants to learn about data science or if you work in logistic and supply chain operations to find some case studies that look like the issues that you are facing in your day-to-day -day life. So you can find the link of this cheat sheet in the description of the video and the comment section. This is a Notion document in which I have compiled all the content that I have created and shared in the last four years. This document is going to be updated. So each time there is new content, I'm going to include that in the document. So you can follow and you can keep that in your markdown in case you want to follow what I'm doing. Um, the idea is to compile all the content in different categories. Depending on what you want to do, you can find the content associated. So let's start with logistic and performance improvement. So I've been working in the logistic industry for six years as a solution designer and re-engineering manager. For some projects, I had to use data analytics to solve an operational problem who optimize a specific process for cost reduction. This is where I share all these case studies. So for instance, in this case study, it's about last mile delivery. It was related to a project I did with a courier company in China, in which you can find uh, an actual case studies with data share, different tools that I have used to answer the problem, and the, uh, the link of the article. And inside the article, you will find the GitHub repository of the solution. In this case, for this category, for most of the articles, you will find the source code in my GitHub, especially for this series of articles. That was the first one that I have published on my blog. You will find a, a series of algorithms that can be used to reduce the walking path in the warehouse. Now that you have touched the logistics and transportation operations, you can move to supply chain optimization. So here, instead of focusing on the operation inside a warehouse, you want to optimize supply chain flows to reduce cost. So you have multiple articles about supply chain optimization, which is basically using linear programming to find the best combinations of factories and warehouses to reduce cost and the environmental footprint. There are also other optimization algorithms related to procurement and production planning. And then you have a set of articles that are related to inventory management and demand forecasting. Last articles are related to trending topics that are linked with supply chain. So in this article, for instance, you will have a description of what is supply chain analytics. So you will have the different types of analytics presented and for each type, you will have examples of solutions that could be developed. And some of them are in articles that have published in the past. Let's say that now that you have developed a solution, maybe you want to show some insights to your colleagues or your customers. You have a section for this with interactive visualization and reporting. So here the idea is how to use Python or other programming languages to improve the visualization of your results. And the idea is to use visuals to convey a message. For instance, on this one, on the logistic performance management, basically you are using data analytics to design dashboards that would track the performance of a distribution chain. So from the warehouse to the store delivery, you can build a set of visuals to understand why you delivered your customer on time or not. There's a section about generative AI. So when uh, ChatGPT arrived and GPT API was opened, I experimented the usage of this model on multiple uh, applications for supply chain. The first one is how to design a kind of a control tower that would be powered by GPT. This one is more the exploration of how to use GPT's stores to build analytics products for supply chain and logistic operations. If we go on the top, you have a section related to business strategy. Uh, in my position as a supply chain solution designer, that was the topic of cost for most of the time. 
time as we were calculating the price for our customers. I am trying basically to replicate this business sense and the operation sense for small and medium businesses. So here you will have examples of how you can use analytics to solve business problem or to help business owners to take decisions to maximize profitability or to reduce their cost. And last but not least, you have a section about supply chain sustainability. The idea here is a bit like the logistic operation optimization or the supply chain optimization section, linear programming or some optimization algorithms, minimize or maximize certain metrics. The objective before was to reduce cost. Here is to reduce the environmental footprint. So from the measurement, the monitoring to the reduction, you have multiple articles that will cover specific needs. So for instance, the article about life cycle assessment is explaining you how you can use analytics to measure the environmental footprint of your company along the value chain. And then you have some more advanced models. So for instance, uh, this model of, uh, of the article, how sustainable is your circular economy, in which basically I build a simulation model to estimate the impact of renting product instead of selling for a fashion retailer. What is important here is that all these solutions basically have been used, I mean, most of them have been used to develop a SaaS that I am created with my startup Logigreen. So you have an access, if you are interested of what I'm doing, of to the website Logigreen, startup that I have built to help companies reduce the environmental footprint of their logistics. And part of, their, of the solution beyond consulting is an app with multiple modules and part of these modules are presented in the articles that I have shared here. I hope things are clean enough. The idea here is to provide some consistency and some clarity on all the content that I have created to help you to link that with uh, your specific needs. So for instance, if you are a student, you can use these articles to learn about supply chain operations with actual case studies coming from students working in logistic companies and large FMCG and luxury groups, but also with GitHub source code that could be used to build your own portfolio. So for most of the code, these are very simple codes that are in Jupyter Notebooks. For some of them, they are in the form of web applications. The idea is mainly for you to take the core code and then adapt it to your specific needs. Uh, and if you want to, as a supply chain professional, if you want to learn more how you can use your skills to improve profitability and help businesses, you can use this section for, for the example. The idea of this video is to explain you and to share with you, introduce you this solution, but also to propose you pause for later. If you have specific questions about the different articles that I am sharing in the video, don't hesitate to share it in the comment section and I will create more videos to answer them.